there is this image in people's mind when they think of America, and it's not a good one. Since America is the most obese nation in the world, I guess that's the image that they think. If you live in America, it's not that you can't be healthy, it's that it is really, really difficult to be healthy. And since it is really difficult to be healthy, that's why people don't even bother. In the past year, I went from 215 to 172, and that took a lot of effort. If you remember from a while ago, I made a Whole30 video, or I did the Whole30 for a month, and that was a very, very tough month for me. Most of the time, I felt like an absolute jerk because people were offering me food and I couldn't have it because I was on said diet. And in that time, it made me realize how much bad food we eat in America. Now when I say bad food, I'm talking about food that you know is bad for you, but you eat anyways. Now listen, this video isn't about me being on my high horse, shaming all of you because you're not living my life. In fact, I want the exact opposite to happen. I want to encourage you to start living a healthy lifestyle now because it'll better you in the end. Studies show that eating the right foods can live to a healthier and longer life. These foods include fruits, vegetables, whole grains, you, 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 you get it, you know. The other part of being healthy is exercising. From what I researched, apparently 33% of American adults are completely sedentary and more than half of adults over 18 never engage in any vigorous leisure time physical activity lasting 10 minutes or more per week and that can be fixed. To some people, exercise is boring, but it really doesn't have to be that way considering the fact of how many different ways you can exercise. You don't even have to step foot in a gym. In fact, you don't need any equipment whatsoever. All you would need to do is look up exercises to do without equipment in Google. For me personally, I have an exercise machine in my basement which I try to use every weekday and then I ride my bike every day because riding my bike is my favorite way to exercise. Another great way to exercise is called HIT, which stands for High Intensity Interval Training. HIT exercises are great because it increases your metabolism, it doesn't take long, and you don't need any equipment whatsoever. But Master Heath, are you saying that I have to eat healthy all of the time and never have another cookie again? Like, are, you, are you kidding me? You know how much you like cookies? It's a good cookie. There comes a point when moderation comes into play. Sure, you should be eating healthier, but at the same time, you shouldn't make yourself miserable because you're trying to eat healthier at the same time. I understand that some diets like the Whole30 are tough, and I get that. But when you live in a house where you're not the one who makes the food, it's a little more difficult. This year specifically, I've been trying some new ways to be healthy, which includes both Whole30 and Weight Watchers points. And now I'm doing neither of those things. Currently, I'm more about what I eat instead of how much I eat, which is something else that I've learned with this whole thing. The other thing that I learned is that everybody is different, so you can't expect to put everybody on one specific diet and expect good results for everybody because everybody is different in their own way, which is why, in my opinion, you need to find what works for you. For me, personally, I like to have turkey bacon and an orange for breakfast instead of toast with peanut butter. The reason that I changed this is because I was eating probably six pieces of bread a day, which includes sandwiches and toast, and because of that, I've tried to cut off wheat as much as I can, which is why I don't really eat sandwiches that much anymore. But see, that's something I've learned about myself, which is a form of moderation. Now, if I've somehow, some way, motivated you to start eating healthy, I just have one more thing to say. Stay away from dieting pills. When I say dieting pills, I mean the I just lost 50 pounds by taking one pill a day! Scams. Listen, just, just don't even go down that road. It's a scam. It really is. In my opinion, you should attempt a more natural way to be healthy. It'll, it'll really help you in the long run. So... I hope you didn't get offended. To be honest, I was a little scared making this video because I didn't want to feel like I was intruding on people's lives, and that's that's not my goal with this video. This video was mostly about my thoughts about how to stay healthy, and I thought what better way to get my thoughts out there than to make a video and possibly help some of you who have been thinking about going down that road. If you would like to leave any comments about how to stay healthy or if you're not sure yet and you're trying to decide, leave a comment. I'd love to start a discussion with you.